Hey, this is Mary Egbert from Kamaj Fiber Arts. And today we're going to be dyeing some silk hankies. This is what they will look like when they're done. It's a sprinkle method done in a kettle, and it's really easy. And let me show you how I do that. I take a 10 by 10 cake pan that I really love to use for things like this. And I will be using a little bit of Ajax. You can use Synthropol. You can use Dawn. Anything that breaks the water tension, like a soap. And I will be using a little bit of vinegar, or you can use some citric acid if you like in your water solution. Okay, so first I'm going to fill up the pan, and it can be whole, cold or hot water, doesn't matter. Put a little glug of vinegar. And then I'll just put a little squirt of soap. I don't need a whole lot. Now when you get your hankies, they're going to come in a stack. They're kind of just layers of, they are layers of silk cocoons that they stretched over a, a frame. Okay, and I take about, oh, this is probably about an ounce. And then I just push it into the water. Now I do this in the sink because the water will come out of the pan. But you could do this in any sort of vessel that you want, a bowl or a Tupperware. It really doesn't matter. You can even fold them up. But just want to get that in the water. Now it takes about, I usually will soak them anywhere from 8 to 12 to 24 hours. It takes a while for silk to absorb water, so it does need a long time to soak. And when you do go back and look at it again, make sure and pull the layers apart and make sure every part is, is soaking. All right, so there I have it. I have my little cake pan full of, of soaking silk, and um, I'll show you what's next. All right, so I've got my pot of water, and I put um, cold water in it first. If you want, you can put a little bit of vinegar in the water, but your dye is already going to have citric acid in it. Um, but the more... Um, acid you put in the quicker the dye is going to strike. Okay, so here's my little cake pan of silk hankies. And I'm going to pull out about about an ounce or so and I'm just going to lay it in the water. And then I'm going to take another ounce, about another ounce or so, and I'm going to lay it in the front part of the pot. Okay, so I have two hankies in there, about two ounces of hankies, just kind of fold it over. And I'm going to turn the heat on medium and let it heat up for about, oh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes until the water is steaming. I don't want it to boil or, um, or, or simmer, so I'm going to let that get warm. Okay, the water's ready, nice and hot. And today we're going to be using Country Classic Lilac. I honestly don't know if this one's going to fracture, but we'll see. The ones that I know that do absolutely fracture are the Pansy and the China Jade for sure. Um, the Cantaloupe did not fracture, so it seems like a color that's more complex or that needs more colors to make that particular color seem to fracture the most. All right, so let's see. Okay, so don't wear, don't forget to wear your mask when you're using powder dyes. Um, you want to keep yourself healthy and safe. Only use utensils that you're going to dye with. Do not use them again for food. So they are just only for dyeing your products. You're going to need a spoon, your hand. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take the top off the dye. Now this is the sprinkle method, and you're just going to be sprinkling a little bit of dye directly on the hankies. Now you want to have a light hand when you do this, because if you put too much on it first, and you get that water too full of dye, there's not going to be enough fiber to saturate the dye. Okay, so then we just kind of push it down, and it looks like looks like it might fracture because I'm already seeing some pink. I'm seeing the pink break away from the dye solution. It's striking the silk quicker. quicker. All right, so remember how I said that these hankies aren't delicate, as delicate as you think they are? You can go ahead and, and turn them over and see how the purple just got on the front. I'm going to take some more dye. Nice and easy. Now, if you wanted to use like a, a couple different colors, 
and have your hankies a few different colors. You could do it this way. You could use purple on one side and uh, maybe like an orange on the other. And then I'm just gently pushing it into the fiber. Um, if you wanted, you can kind of leave it at this point and see how much is going to saturate into the fiber, you know, for maybe 15 or 20 minutes, and then go back and move the silk again and try to find some white spots because you want, you want all this fiber dyed. And if you see that it's not um, taking up quick enough in the fiber, just add a little bit of citric acid or a little bit of vinegar. Again, this Country Classics does already have some citric acid in it. One more thing, if you're going to be using Jacquard or Dharma, they are very, very saturated dyes. So you just really need to take your time uh, sprinkling dye. And they don't fracture quite as much as the Country Classics do. Alrighty, so I'm just going to put a little bit more on. And then I'm going to let this sit for as long as it needs to, to um, take up all that dye, which, you know, usually is about a half hour or so. So that's all there is to it, man. It's so easy. Okay, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you how I spin the water out, and then that'll be it. Yay, so the hankies are all done. Okay, so here they are. I add a little bit of orange into this because I felt like it. <laughs> So I'm going to pour them into the sink to drain, and in the strainer, I'm going to put a little, well, I'm going to put a little strainer in the top so they don't fall down my um, garbage disposal. All right, so I'm just pour them in. Water's really clear, so all the dye um, took. Move these out of the way a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to let them sit for a minute because they're really freaking hot. And then we'll rinse those and I'll show you something else. Alrighty, so I have them in a little bit of rinse water. Um, and you see how clear the water is? So there is absolutely no leaking of, of um, dye. And when you look at the hanky, can you see the separation of the blue and the purple? That is the fracture of the color. The orange is something else they put in there but not the blue or the pink or the purple. So it really kind of comes out kind of neat. But see how these hankies stay intact? I mean, they're pretty tough things. All right, so I'm gonna drain the water. Woo! I'm going down my disposal. Okay, and I, this is the inside um, of a salad spinner. So I'm gonna take the hanky and put it in there flat. Okay. And then I'm going to grab another chunk. See, it's still in its form. Put it in there flat. Another one. And that was really hot. And what's really fun about silk is that um, you can put it in hot water, cold water. It doesn't matter because this stuff is never going to felt. inside of my salad spinner in there and spin it a little dump out some of the water okay so by putting the hankies in there flat you see how they kind of retain that shape? I mean, these things are really tough. Alrighty, so I take these outside and I hang them up over a PVC pipe that um, I hung up on the porch because it won't stick to it. I don't use clothespins or anything like that because the wood might stick to the, to the silk, but that's all there is to it. Really easy. Now get out there and dye some hankies. <laughs> Um, I dye silk, or I dye, yeah, I dye silk hankies. Um, I sell silk hankies on my website at www.kamajfiberarts.com. I also have them on my Etsy, just search for Kamaj. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's really easy. If you have any questions, you can email me at info at kamajfiberarts.com. All right, bye.